Carolina prisons is a serious issue. You may remember this video of a deadly prison escape attempt at the Pasquotank prison. Just one of many troubling incidents in our state. Right now a jury is considering whether to sentence a man to death for his role in the deaths of four employees. Now since that deadly attack, state officials have struggled to make prisons safer. As our Michael Hyland found out today, their latest plan to fix things might make the situation worse. Two years after a deadly prison escape attempt at the Pasquotank Prison in eastern North Carolina, a jury found one of the inmates guilty of murdering four workers. Holding one of the weapons, the prosecutor was blunt. That man, Michael Braid, that man. It exposed broader problems with safety in the state's prisons. State leaders sum it up like this. We're in some dark days. It is an immediate crisis. This is an emergency. Though the state has tried to recruit more people to work in prisons, that hasn't stopped people from leaving. One in five correctional officer positions is vacant, and the ones who are there are at risk. We are at the point where we're averaging almost two staff in our prison system every day are being victimized by assault from an inmate. The state is in the process of closing three prisons including in Hope County, to shift workers to other prisons. I talked to the state's new commissioner of prisons, Todd Ishii. Is that going to make this situation even worse for some people who are working in the other facilities that will stay open? It's going to make it more challenging because uh, as prisons become dense, denser or densely packed, uh, it, it becomes more challenging for our staff. The state has raised pay and allowed bonuses for people working at the prisons with the highest vacancies. Still, officers work mandatory overtime. Ishii says sometimes getting as little as one to two days off in a month. I found out lawmakers are considering a $200 million plan to change the pay structure in an effort to keep people. Why do you believe additional money is going to turn things around? Well, the biggest problem, as you can see, uh, is related to uh, recruitment and retention. It's not clear when or if that plan will pass, but as time passes, the situation has grown more dire. Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. News. Michael, thank you. While there are no immediate plans to close any other prisons, the commissioner acknowledged that it's possible if the situation does not change long term, it could happen.